It's me again. Um, a quick video of things that I say. How bad can things get in the Philippines? Um, this is from an expat perspective, not mine, but things that have happened to people um, that I'm aware of. Uh, there's several people that don't really get mentioned that are spending time in jails. So the big problem with jail sentences is. It's nice if you actually get a trial. Um, guilty or not, many of these cases have never been heard in court. And when they eventually do, it's very likely they'll be thrown out. Um, now the problem is that process to get heard in court can take seven years. Um, by that time, a lot of people get sick, die, and pretty much can be pretty horrific. And it's not only the, the fact that um, these things happen to people, but they, they can often be, well, they must have done something. Doing something here can often be just having money in your pocket and a business that functions. Um, getting involved in things like uh, working abroad, you know, for Philippines, being an, an agency. If you're doing too well, you can have problems, severe problems. Um, the from a business perspective, there's so much corruption still around on on those sort of things. It can make life very hard, um, and many expats have found that from around the world. Uh, I don't know many of them uh, from the ones I've had contact with or uh, know people have had contact with them. Then I already know that the information that they come out with. Um, that I'd say there's about 90% chance they weren't actually doing anything wrong. The, the next thing is when people are murdered. Um, here in England, Ilia, uh, there was a case where the bus, um, a security guard um, was watching a woman at a shopping mall with a guy that was with her. Uh, they were buying a motorbike and he just happened to notice them and was taking an interest in what they were doing. Um, the next thing is the guy that she was with killed her husband, uh, who's a British ex, uh, a British guy, um, in cold bloody murder in the street. Um, it was filed as a robbery that went wrong, but the odd thing is the security guard was actually riding on a bus as the robbery happened. It wasn't a robbery, it was a murder. Um, because what eventually came out was that the guy who was killed, uh, sorry, who killed him and was also the one getting the motorbike because she was no, the notarized person on the motorbike. She was the guarantor of the motorbike, was her ex-boyfriend. Uh, and basically, I would assume, they decided to murder the husband for his money. Um, not the first time that's happened here, it's happened more times than I can remember. Um, there was also a case of a woman murdered up in Manila, another British expert. Uh, she was actually in from Hong Kong, and, uh, British, and that case went all over the place. Because um, the big problem here, a lot of stuff never gets solved, it just leaves the media. Um, which leaves a lot of unsolved cases, but also if there's corruption involved, it doesn't get tracked because a lot of the corruption can actually be inside the system to start with. So if you can kill a case, it's never going to leave back to you. Um, but murder, jailed, uh, what else? Because it's not just Westerners, by the way. I mean, there was a taxi driver riding around with Korean people's heads in his car before here yeah, in Cebu uh, a few years back. Um, he followed them home and killed them in their house or something. I, I remember reading the story at the time, but I can't remember all the facts with it. But those sort of things are pretty extreme. But I would say the ratio is also pretty high for the number of foreigners that are foreigners here, like I said, foreigners means anybody that's not Filipino. 
Um, but these things happen quite a lot. Um, they get covered in the media for a day or so, but they pretty much die out. Um, I'm not sure why. Is it a la lack of interest or a lack of anybody actually wanting to solve a case? Or, oh, it was just a love triangle. That's, that's one of the most favorite media sayings here, love triangle, because uh, it's an easy mop-up for the uh, cases. When you turn around and say, oh, it's a love triangle, husband, wife, uh, wife's boyfriend, there you go, problem solved. Um, so that, that goes on quite a lot. But beyond, beyond these sort of things going on, I would say the Philippines is okay as long as you're not involved in business or uh, got something that really stands out. Um, because most, most people don't bother you. Um, there's always, you know, because what I've, what I've heard from people, I haven't actually experienced it myself you know, from a negative point of view, is that there's like fallings out between different uh, people. Generally not expats, but an expat and a neighbor, or an expat and a politician, an expat and a local policeman. Something like something that can lead from one thing to another, um, but generally I haven't had any of those problems. If anything, I've actually sat and had beer with a police in the local police station. I have had uh, engagements with helping the police in some serious cases here, um, but even then, things didn't turn out the way they should have done. Um, the results come out to a, to a certain degree, but some of the information become obscured not to interfere with the ongoing case. What I mean is the case in court, not the actual case um, referring to new evidence not actually being put forward um, because it interferes with the court case. Uh, what I mean is a uh, prime example is the Ella Joy case. Um, Ella Joy was murdered in Mignanilia, and it was claimed that a foreigner had done it. And the first people were only acquitted because they were sat in a restaurant miles away from the area at the time of the murder. Um, they, and it's only video footage that stopped them getting jailed. Um, they, they were released, left, left the country, blah, blah, blah. The Philippines court did not say they weren't guilty or uh, dismiss it in that way. What they did is they said there was a lack of evidence. Lack of evidence being that you're over an hour away in a restaurant full of people with um, CCTV footage of you being there, that, then obviously that is, not, um, that is not proof that you weren't the persons involved by you not even being in the area at the time. Um, the same, when that went sour for the, the court, they then moved on to a uh, British expat and his partner. Um, they're still dealing with the case now, um, but there's so much tampering going on, um, and it's been picked up in the media, but it goes up and down because what happens, I think, like I was saying earlier, I think if something's not going the way they want or they need it to disappear from the media, they simply do. It just vanishes. Um, lack of public interest. In fact, I think the public would be very interested to find out if something was very corrupt and wrong. But um, that would move on to the massacre of all those journalists down in Mindanao. Um, I'm not really going to get into that at all, because that's still an ongoing saga as well. Um, but for the average expat, nobody's going to bother you, as long as you're not bothering anybody else. Uh, I can't really say anything else than that. But, um, I, I mean, it's just, it's just the way it is. Um, there's no point grumbling uh, about life here, because it's not going to change. Uh, don't expect the embassy to come and sort your life out for you. They don't care. You're not important.
And that's, that's no joke. If you ask any expat that's had some problems, the embassy is the last people that help them. You got more more help out of Google. Um, but as long as you realize that you're on your own and not to do anything stupid, you shouldn't have any problems. Um, that's all I can say on that. That is the worst that could go wrong. Um, murdered, robbed, killed, jailed. Uh, not a lot. <laughs> There's not a lot else to go wrong. Um, but there's a lot of things that um, I could discuss, but shouldn't really discuss, so I won't. Um, but there is many, many things I've come across over the years of being here, where people have been noted as suicides, and blah blah blah, where they've been murdered. Um, it's it's just the fact that I know other things that that were very obvious, but are not not really logged or taken an interest in. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. And don't let it put you off living here. Like I said, the, the thing here is everybody had something else going on. Some of them are stupid. Um, there's a lot of stupid expats here where you, kn you know they're going to get themselves into trouble in no time at all. Um, other people um, are doing businesses which may upset locals or businesses that are highly lucrative and have gained interest of people that are quite happy to take a percentage every month um, for offering you some security. And if you don't agree, um, I'll, they'll see you in jail. Um, but it's not changed. It's always been like that. Uh, that's the bizarre thing. Not, it's nothing new here. Um, but. The key thing to that is don't think you, because you're a Westerner, you have Western rights. You're in a foreign country and you're a foreigner with no support from your embassy. Um, they will do as little as possible, as, um, as quickly as possible. What I mean is they'll do as little as possible and leave as quickly as possible. They're not going to not gonna do a lot for you. Okay. Uh, thanks for listening. I hope it hasn't ruined your thoughts on life in the Philippines. Okay, thank you.